in the last video we have learned repository pattern so that repository pattern is the one repository per entity that was a non generic in this video we are going to learn about generic repository so a generic repository is the one that can be used for all the entities in other word it can be either used for for you can say that employee and student and you can add more like a order customers so let's check with example just to, uh, just now we have cre created that employee tables and student tables so that is a, you can see that this one is the employee and this one is that student table created okay and in the visual studio open the visual studio and here i have added that one entity framework so open that entity framework here also you can see that there is a two table that is employee and that student this two entities here okay now going to create one folder that is a repository folder and add that one class that is a repository class okay click now okay now here going to add this one is that generic t entity so now i am going to write the constraint where t entity so p it must be class only now you can see here going to write add add will be the t entity okay obj entity same data for update oh sorry to write implementation also public void add okay next one will be the update that void update that also it will be the t entity obj entity the next one going to write that will be the it will return i enumerable t entity okay so get all just for now we are going to write return no mutation exception make a comment here okay for now one more for delete that will be the id for now here right through new not so here i have created for uh, add update get all those well all those record and that delete so here we are using that one t t entities that is a gen generic okay <clears throat> now i'm going to create one constructor i'm going to write like a employee db entities so obj of employee db entities and here also need to add underscore obj employee db entities that is a copy constructor now copy this one then add create the here db set db set 
that will be the t into t is equal to t b set. Now I'm going to create the object. So it will be that this dot this dot d b set is equal to dot set this will be your t entity okay now here have to write like a this dot db set dot add and then t entity so now db set dot the simple entity dot set changes okay now create one controller that is right click add controller mbc mbc5 controller empty make a home controller in the last video you have seen that uh, we have created separate entities just like for uh, imply i have created that imply repository and uh, that uh, if we are going to create the student so we are going to create the student repository but in this one we are going to use the generic repository one repository will work for all of them means all of the entities so create here that constructor over that imply db entities so is a imply db entities create the object that is imply db entities for now have been we are going to create the imply obj imply call to new imply add some dummy data that is a first name will be the sample sample first and second one is the last name here yeah, sample last okay now call that at repository then repository add the reference So it's a class only. The okay, repository dot repository going to add that entity entity with the class that is class going to add. Then obj repository equal to new imply repository okay and constructor you have to pass this entities now call that add method add method will is looking that imply object that is not done uh, add the view also that add add view click on add
Okay. Now run the application. Now check in the database, open the employees, select, now you can see here that sample first data has been added. Now we are going to add for that student. So only home controller, no need to change lot, only what you have to do, only here you need to pass that new class, that is a student class. And here it will be a student and change the student student and the sample student first sample student last okay so here only you are passing that one your class names you are not creating that new repository for that Now run the application again. Okay, check the database. Open the student table. Now you can see here this one also added that sample student. So what we have done, we have created one repository that is a, this one is a generic repository. So here only need to pass if you want to create that more table just like you want to create that customer table, order table, that same functionality you want to do like add, update and delete or get all this data. So only you need to change that in that uh, your business logic where you are passing just you need to assign that particular class or particular entities so it will work. No need to create that separate entities or you can say that separate repository class for that. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.